So ladies and gentlemen, we'll now move into fight number nine, which is brought to you by Bradford Cowie Roofing. And it will be for the amateur coastal combat better weight title. And introducing first, out of the red corner, Cooper Rush Royal. <coughs> oh, my, I am a bit of a fangirl for this guy. I'm yeah. gonna be honest with you. I am an absolute fangirl. I have had a lot of <laughs> I've had a lot of I've had a lot of work um, done a lot of work with him as well and ran his coach. But I mean, this kid has the X factor. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it now. This kid is great. Yeah, he he is the much anticipated bantamweight return for Cooper Rush Royal. He is the current flyweight champion for the promotion here at Coastal Combat. And look, gents, as far as striking goes, I don't know if there's an amateur fighter in the entire country that would, is as skilled as Cooper Royal on I'd their feet. I'd actually probably go to say professional as well. I, <laughs> you know, I look, I, I'm gonna say that like, his, his diversity and his striking, uh, his, his composure. I mean, the kid's had four fights and he's, he's got the composure of a, a professional with at least three or four times that amount. Um, you know, look, but one of the big misgivings that I do have for him as we've said in the past, Daniel is his ability to wrestle and grapple, you know, and and his one loss came came towards a very good grappler. You know, he was able to shut down Cooper's striking. You know, it wasn't a pretty fight. It wasn't a it wasn't a flashy fight, but um, Luke did an exceptional job at shutting down Cooper's uh, strengths. Yeah, look, I think I think that's right, Anton. Luke Davis really wrote the blueprint on how to beat Cooper Royal, and it is to try and take that space away from him. You don't want to stand in open space for too long with Rush Royal because uh, you will quickly be looking up at the lights uh, in most circumstances there. So, Bradford, your thoughts on this one? Of yeah. course, the sponsor as well, Bradford oh, Kelly yeah. Roofing. Big shouts there, champ. That's right. Yeah, look, um, Cooper Royal fighting out of Fitzroy Martial Arts, Rockhampton, uh, under, under coach Brant Cole. But, um, yeah, like, first time I saw Cooper, it just his striking was just, just phenomenal. Just, just really enjoyable to watch. Slick, crisp. And introducing his opponent, out of the blue corner, Deacon, such a young the guy too. Man just super McCurran. 19 years old. Yeah. 19 years old or 20. You know, like I said, it's just like, he, he's one of those guys that he just, he's born to fight. Well, gents, now we have the return of Deegan the Axeman McGurran. Interesting little tidbit here that many will remember back at Coastal Combat 7. Deegan was actually scheduled to compete for this very vacant bantamweight title. Managed to get the victory over Scott Nicholson with a triangle choke in round two, but unfortunately had some issues with the scales that night, or the night prior, I should say, which made a Deegan ineligible to win the title. Made weight with ease here on his second attempt at bantamweight, and the team at Rhino MMA all headed up by Chubbs O'Connor behind him. He's confident that he has the style to take some of the hype out of Cooper Rush Royal. And I mean, Deegan's got a bit more experience you know, so hopefully he can be able to keep his composure, whether that, whether that striking storm set himself up to obviously uh, take him down, use his grappling to, to get the advantage in this fight. Deegan uh, also does a, does a bit of coaching uh, for Rhino MMA in Rockhampton. So this is a bit of a local derby and we're going to see who uh, is going to go home with the bragging rights. Yeah, I think, I think the gyms are actually not that far apart from each yeah. other either. Um, so the king of Rockhampton on the line here yeah. as well, boys. Not just the king of the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it would sure be something if one of these boys could get a finish here tonight as Deegan enters the cage. First first time Coastal Combat might have a champs champ. Double oh, yeah. champ. Or Deegan standing in his way to, to claim his first one. So ladies and gentlemen, fight number nine this evening is brought to you by Bradford Cowie Roofing. And it will be for the amateur Coastal Combat Bantamweight title contested over five three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 61.1 kilos and trains at a Fitzroy Martial Arts, holding an amateur record of three wins for two defeats. He is the reigning Coastal Combat Flyweight Champion, Cooper Rush Royal! And his opponent, fighting.
Whiting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 61.4 kilos and trains out of Rhino MMA. With eight fights as an amateur, he holds three wins. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Deegan, the Axeman, Nick Garan. All right, gentlemen, been over the rules. Listen to my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out fighting. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Thomas Churchill. I'm looking forward to this one. Ah, oh, this is one of my fights of yeah. the night. Yeah. Oh, well, Don't boys. Blink. Don't blink. Here guys. we go. Bantamweight title on the line. Cooper Rush Royal looking oh. to become the promotion's first champ champ. And Cops won below the belt to kick things off. But the boys sorted it out on their own. And we're back to it. Oh, beautiful hook oh, cross. Beautiful. Oh, lovely, lovely oh, takedown. Beautiful takedown. Oh. Deegan is actually a gold medalist at the 2020 Australian Wrestling Open. Oh, there could be a Von Flew on here. He's not, uh, he's not going to, uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's using oh, wow. it to sweep. Wow, oh, nice. Cooper Royal. Look at the back take here from Deegan though. Fantastic grappling exchange. And I, I tell you what boys, uh, Deegan McGarrett looks substantially bigger than yeah. Cooper Royal in, in the cage here tonight. Both boys hitting the scales, only 300 grams apart, but... I don't think, uh, don't think Cooper would have cut much weight for this no, fight. No, no. I've long maintained that he's, uh, he's better at flyweight, but he says the cut is difficult for him. But Deegan McGurran, the game plan off to a beautiful start here tonight. Let's see if he can finish this takedown here. As it looks like his hands are locked, Cooper Royal could be going for a ride, and there it is. See, I, I, in that position, I really like the overhook on the far side rather than the uh, double cross on this side. See, I'd like to see him reach over, get the underhook. There we go. Now drop the hip. Beautiful. That's better. Yeah, nice work Keep there. Keep that overhook. Turn your hips. Face his head. Spread those legs apart. Because, see, when they go, yeah, big. Ooh. So Deegan McGarren with some success here. Straight in front of Early. us, too. Best view. Deegan's doing an exceptional, exceptional job of controlling Cooper. Cooper back to his feet, though. Certainly not uh, giving up on any positions. So... Look, I think it's fair to say, win, lose, or draw, we have seen an improvement in the wrestling of Cooper Royal. Definitely. See, the thing is, because he hasn't... There we go. So that slam draws a smile from Cooper Royal as they make themselves into the middle of the cage. So Deegan McGarren trying to take that fence away from him as it can be very useful in trying to get back to your feet. So first round going seemingly to plan here for Deegan McGarren. So Cooper looking to do his best to limit the damage here from bottom side control. Deegan with that cross face and underhook on the far side. So technically very nice stuff here from the Axeman. I just don't know how long we've got left in the round. Because, I mean, Deegan's doing a great job controlling him. Cooper's oh, There we go. Ten seconds, Anton. Ten seconds, thank you. Right on cue there for Mr. Anton Zafia. Oh, oh. Some big shots landed. And back to the feet as the boys make their way to the corner. Cooper Earl having a quick chat to the referee, Thomas mm. Churchill there. Not sure what about. I, I think he was just asking what he can and can't do. <laughs> he was asking, oh. Are you sure I can't do this or I can't do that? There's a little mouse under Deegan's eye, but apart from that, I think I think pretty clean that's round a there. pretty clean round yeah, to Deegan. Pretty dominant. Yeah, look, I think... Uh, Chubbs is very happy with, uh, with obviously, with what his uh, fighter is doing, and, and Brand's given... Um, a few little quick tidbits for Cooper. Yeah, look, boys, this one was billed as a classic clash of styles, and I think the first round certainly played out that way. Mm. Cooper with the advantage in open space and the feet, but we saw Deegan impose the game plan nicely there with some big takedowns. And uh, as we see, Thomas Churchill now clear the teams out. Rhino MMA, Fitzroy Martial Arts. I think it'd be one of those display. things where, like, Cooper would be very close to what he weighed in, where Deegan's probably... At least a good four or five uh, kilos heavier now. So the boys touch him up in the middle. Ooh, Beautiful inside low kick. kick. Goes high there with the left leg. And here we go. Straight back to the wrestling. 
Deegan McGurran. Oh, oh, lovely jump. jump knee. Knee. And it looks like he's going for a ride again. Those hands clasped below the hips is usually the precursor to a takedown. And there it is. Cooper Royal, nice Straight work back though. Up. Oh, lovely. He really needs to get the underhooks. He, he can't play with those overhooks and think he's going to be able to, to uh, hit, muscle him up. Yeah, Deegan again locking those hands below the hips of Cooper Royal. But I have to admit, Cooper is doing a very good job at controlling the, uh, the takedown so he doesn't end up in mm. a very bad position. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? There's sort of two layers to takedown defense in that aspect. You know, there's the obviously stopping the initial takedown, but also the ability to pop back to your feet. And while Cooper perhaps having some issues stopping the takedown initially, his ability to get back to his feet has been uh, certainly on display here tonight. As he looks for a guillotine, perhaps, it's going to be difficult to finish from here, though. Yeah. As you can see, he's actually using that inside foot like the tyres do to actually help prevent the uh, takedown, which, which separates the hips of the, um, the takedown, which makes it a lot harder. And then keeping pressure on the head to allow him to pop back up. Yeah. Again, looking for that guillotine, and he's going to jump Ooh. for it. Look, it's going to be pretty tough to finish here. Oh, Jeez, wouldn't that be so something if we tight. could see tight. Cooper finish? Deegan, we're up by submission. He looks tight. Yeah. Oh, oh. His head out. Beautiful work. Beautiful work there from Deegan McGurran defending that submission attempt from Cooper, but. That's the danger of diving for guillotines, isn't it? You end up on your back, but only momentarily keep it back to the feet. The other problem with that is that you become very fatigued. Oh, nice. Turns himself around. So I just see Dogan, Deegan just slow things down a bit. He, he looks like he's rushing everything a little bit. Um, he's not securing the takedowns. Trying to, just trying to rush things too much, trying to jump on the back. It really just needs to set things up. Both these boys seemingly in phenomenal shape here tonight. Five rounds if needed to decide our new bantamweight champion here in the amateur ranks. Nice little cheeky knee there from Cooper. <laughs> A quick little chat with Chubbs, his opposing corner. I think Chubbs thought that might have gone below the boat. belt. Cooper said nope, he was fine. Oh, oh big knee, lovely. big punch. And there we, there we go. Back into open space. Cooper's got to make this count. Oh, big oh, left hook, oh. flying knee. He's hurt. Cooper Royal looking to become the second champ champ in the promotion's history, hey, and that is it. Cooper Rush Royal hey. he is the new bantamweight champion. And he's proud as the champ champ. Champ. Champ, champ. champ 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 is here. Well, the champ's champ is here. Wow. Oh. He Woo. dealt with the adversity early with the grappling, came back, and as soon as he found himself in open space, landed that left hook, which led to the eventual finish. Fantastic stuff from Cooper oh. Royal. And an emotional moment shared there with his coach, Brent oh. Kogel, the first champ champ in coastal combat history. We are witnessing history being made here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. What a showing from both boys. I'm left by myself. Both of my uh, compadres are in the cage. One to present the uh, belt, the other one to uh, obviously state what happened. So ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at two minutes and 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring your winner by TKO and the new Coastal Combat Bantamweight Champion, Cooper. Rush Royal! Champ in coastal combat. Flyweight and, feather, and uh, featherweight. Not to take anything away from Deegan. Some exceptional takedowns and some amazing wrestling. He came in a very strong, came in with a very strong game plan. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with now the first champ champ in coastal combat history. You entered the cage here tonight with the flyweight title already around your waist. You've now stepped up and taken home the bantamweight belt as well. 
Cage side, we were almost speechless, Cooper. It was a fantastic performance coming into this fight. I think most people picked it as a grappler versus striker, a classic matchup in MMA. Was that the way that you saw it? Yeah, it was the way I saw it, but I'm ready. The fight, wherever the fight goes, bro, I'm ready. Uh, you know, last fight, had some trouble with the grappling, but it is what it is, bro. He's the bigger guy. I feel like I can grapple with flyweight, you know. I feel like flyweight's next, but if another bantamweight wants it, I'm ready. Yeah, look, bro, I'm not just a striker, I can grapple. And look, coming in here tonight, it was quite clear that uh, Deegan was the bigger man. So do you think that your future does lie in the flyweight division, at least for now? Um, there's good fights at bantamweight, bro. Some of these bantamweights really, like, excite me. There's Jaden Walsh. Um, yeah, there's heaps of bantamweights, bro. Like, they're fun matchups. They're the bigger guys, but I feel like my striking, I can go with any of them. Well, as far as what the future holds, there was a very exciting flyweight fight earlier tonight where we saw Troy Fumo get a victory. Is that someone that could be on your radar next to flyweight? Yeah, for sure. I've been watching him for a bit. If he wants it, let's do it. In here. Well, I think I speak for the fans when we say we would love to see that matchup. Now, before I let you go tonight, Cooper, I know you have a very special bond with the man standing right next to us here, Brent Kogel, and your team at Fitzroy Martial Arts. Talk to us a little bit about how it is training in that room. Uh, this guy right here, he's the man, bro. Um, just, like two weeks ago, bro, I was sick for two weeks straight, like on the couch. Ask my other coach, this is my other coach, Ray from Sydney. He can tell you, I was on the couch every day, coughing up blood, you know, sick as men. And I come back with Brant and, no, the cardio wasn't really there. You could probably tell that. But we just, we worked the game plan, bro. Didn't get to show it tonight, but, fuck, so, bro, just like, to get here, man, I thought I was going to have to pull out two weeks ago, my weight rocketed up, like, I'm just stoked to be here, bro. Well, we are stoked to have you. You've made history here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the first champ champ in coastal combat history, Cooper Rush Royal.